But you have to see the before so you can appreciate the after. Otherwise, you'd be like, yeah, nice. No, you're going to see the before. You're going to suffer. If I've suffered, you're suffering, remember? I interrupt my regularly scheduled, do you know how hard that is to say? <laughs> I practiced. <laughs> regularly scheduled part three of my Thanksgiving surprise. Because yesterday I had, I, I just had to do it. I had to stop, take a day off. It was Sunday, which I love Sundays. They're, they're sort of like a free day where you, you prepare for space to to allow things to happen and something happened <laughs> I moved my bed down so I'm gonna go look at some of the videos I took put it all together and show it to you and my evening was just wonderful yesterday morning I got up at 4 40 so <laughs> but uh drank a lot of kool-aid in the morning and um really just had an extraordinary strong physical activity day and yeah so enjoy it it's just it's exciting it's really exciting because i'm parked here i've been parked here a week and then once you get the food shelter water stuff and i've been showering every two days i know i know don't get worried um, i don't have stability yet don't worry uh, i'll let you know okay i'll let you know so enjoy the it's not a big reveal because it's just in process. But this in process is a big reveal. That makes well, sense. I've been thinking about this for a couple days. I have to make a change because I can't be sleeping up there and then having a couch. Like it's two lay down areas. That's too much wasted space. And that normally is a workspace. And I can't, it's hard to see right now because it's full of bedding, but there's some wood here and it slides. It's two pieces of wood. Anyway, it's, <laughs> I, I have this piece of wood or end table that normally is right there. And I can literally stand up there and it's almost like I have, while well, I use it as extra kitchen and storage and sorting and all this natural light. And right now it just feels like a dark, cave and I have to crawl up there at night and <laughs> I, I really should video that really just once because it's it's not pretty and and you know this isn't about pretty so today it's windy and I've been up since 4 40 but I'm feeling like I'm gonna lay this out put the wood on top of there and get my thousand dollar Tempur-Pedic which I've been dragging around with me for years and lay that back on there. It does put my head nice right about here though. It's, it's a little high. And then I do have storage underneath. Now I have none of that right now. So a lot of my bins and my, my bag. And, um, and then I'll talk to you about this because this is the microwave cart and this is going to come down and be the office it's been a kitchen, it's been many things, but it's my office. Oh, my door's squeaking. It's windy. But I just thought I'd record the before in case I do it. And in case you know how I'm doing. Yo, kitchen check. Liar check. <laughs> Cleaned out the fridge today. Yeah. You want to see what's in my fridge? Hmm. Not much. Before I go grocery shopping, I like to clean everything out. Make sure it's, there's room for more. Okay, that's enough. This couch is also storage <laughs> for my outdoor padded cushions and a canvas and some foam. So I'm going to have to sort of level that out somehow. But I'm excited. I've made the decision. Since I talked to you guys, I feel better about it. <laughs>
seriously, I was like, I've been thinking about this for three hours. I'm like, just drink some, I made my Kool-Aid, I mixed Kayani and some tea and then one of those chew lemon things, black cherry, and um, got some uh, energy. So I'm ready. But I hate to start something that I can't finish. Have you ever done that? I hesitate to show you this because it doesn't normally look like this. I don't normally have that, but I shoved those up there today. My, an extra computer and my old computer. and But it's unacceptable for me. I really have to have organization, light, and accessibility. And the things I need... I tore things up looking for that water pump the other day, so it looks a little bit more lumpy. But you have to see the before so you can appreciate the after. Otherwise, you'll be like, yeah, nice. No, you're going to see the before. You're going to suffer. If I've suffered, you're suffering, remember? Yep. And then we'll talk about that down there later. If any of you have had those... What are these called? Those, not scissor couches, maybe they are. There's a big gap, right? I mean, a indentation right there. So what I have done before is I have laid out those cushions and then I put the wood over it so that I can get the best solid surface for the Tempur-Pedic. You don't want it lumpy. So I'm going to try and even it out with my pads, which I've done before. I'm a professional at this, you know. This is a piece of uh, roofing that I got at Target in Michigan. The guy was done roofing at Target, and there's a whole bunch I brought out to camp. Okay. <gasps> Hold on, I'm going to put the camera down. I remember now it... It sticks up just a little bit more, but it does pro provide the support you need when you're getting out of the bed. And I have a piece of cement board I got for free at Home Depot. I may try and level the whole thing with that. Okay, so temporarily, my infamous word, I can leave this here and then have a piece cut. Um, with holes in it to create it lighter. Uh, weight's not an issue because I'm not a traveler, remember? I'm not driving around. I'm a parker. <laughs> I'm a camper. Work camper. Wow. I love it when it explodes. Bedding, bedding, bedding. Because the f it's so fun to just completely redo this and get it to where it's more functional. Loving it. See, you can already start to see the space, the amazing workspace that's up here. Some of my older videos show, and then I can grow my herbs. I have the seeds, I have the little planter, I have the sprouters. Yeah, I hate the reflectics in the window. I don't know if you guys know this, but you, you don't want to put a bunch of bedding on top of this and then sleep on it like you're storing it. Because it it ruins the effect. So I have just a nice, thin, clean sheet here. And I am I misted, of course, the bed and the bedding with my fabric softener. The Toxic. Got to use it up, you know, you can't waste. So that my body is is getting the effects of the no pressure points because I had this comforter this thick comforter on top of the bed up there and it was like it, it was way way too stiff so, so if you have a thousand dollar Tempur-Pedic don't don't ruin it don't ruin the effects of it Good enough. And this nice bedding is getting donated because I don't need it or want it. 
and it just is a real shocky sparky thing and it's clean so it's time for it to go when it's clean <laughs> this green comforter is a little shocky but I put it on during the day so because I used to have people come and then jump in my bed <laughs> and you don't want people to jump into your bedding so I have my day bedding and then my night bedding and then I sort of have my loungy day bedding which is underneath there the white the white ones that match that so I would just put this if I wasn't feeling well and laying around editing and just I would not have this green thing on so that table I was telling you about that was a two dollar find in Kingman last year and it's solid and it acts as a step stool and it protects the f I don't even know if it's grounded but it's ground or wire and I step on this and then it puts me puts my head right in the middle there <laughs> and it's like a step stool and an end table and many things so it gives me that access to jump up here and do things not reaching and getting in a ladder so it really is a mid-level it's my mid-level this is a what do you call it tri-level house One, two, three. yeah four something like that i hate that reflectix look but it does provide a lot of insulation and when i was driving out here it was very cold and I had a whole packet of these signs, the blank signs, and they fit really nicely. And I had them braced up there, so it was white on the outside. And it, they, they lined up really, really nice until they worked. But still, it looks a lot better than the Reflectix. But now, we do not need them. Because we're going to be going into a little bit of a cool spell, a 65, 45 maybe, and even get down to maybe 42 in about a week or so. So I'm just going to open this all up and let the sun shine in. Give me that solar heating. So my, I call it Descartes, Descartes Blanche, because it's been so many things and has a sliding rack so there's not really that much on here it looks like it is but there's not that's practically empty and that's some office supplies and files and there's really nothing up here so i'm excited to get my mobile office de carte blanche down there and the way i used to use it this is so fun Look at all this space and then the light it's when I uh, tomorrow or later I'll take that down and it's like when you lay in this bed it, there's light everywhere windows you see it's like panoramic mm -hmm. this everywhere. is not a final reveal hot. of course I don't think there ever will be I got my office started which was right here and put my this is food that has to be put away so that'll disappear I need it for my laundry anyway but now I have some open floor space and this chair which I have been wanting for a couple years and finally got of course can go there and I usually turn around and put my feet up right there if I'm looking out at this view so it's uh coming along lots to do up here but I'm not taking that on today uh, look let's see can you can you see the bed this is terrible lighting well one day status look at that my office on wheels my Descartes Blanche is usually right around here somewhere and the chair can go over there but I've got my bed all made ready for my candlelight tea my tea's ready got my office started that this can actually go right on the bed and then I can actually put this it's a black 
uh, tray on top of it and have my computer right on the bed. So I can either have it here. I usually have the mouse and stuff right here, but I'm still working on that. Let me go get my tea. That's really the only thing I have to go through. I mean, no, not the only thing, but... Um, yeah, it's fun. I'm tired. Not fatigued. I'm tired. It's a great day. That's all food. And that's donation. And that's just really office of stuff that's coming back here. That's all going to be open. Isn't that going to be fun? That window's huge. Look how huge that window is. I don't know if you can imagine, but it's going to be beautiful. I did not expect my evening to end up having this much ambiance. It feels so good. That's my little oil now. I have two different glass uh, hurricanes or whatever you call those. One is you don't see the flame. So if my eyes are sensitive, it's a lot milder. Look. This looks nice. This oh my is, gosh, it's so spacious now. This is how I've normally had it. Okay. And I only had the bed up there temporarily. And then that's going to okay. be, I wanted to show you, look how big that window is. Wow. Oh, that's going to be great. And then little greenhouse. That's great. Yeah. And last night I had my little oil lamp going and then oh. my candle was over here and whatever. So I know. nice. A chair can come over here. Like it's just a real flex. Oh, I so have to better. have... Flex. I have to have a flex plan. Yeah. You know, like yeah. it has to be flexible. A lot. <laughs> I know. That's why I'm not on camera. You've done a lot. I mean, <laughs> uh, but I'm feeling really good. Yeah. Good. This good. is what happens when I can stay in one spot for like a week yeah, or two. Yeah. Yeah. And camp. Yeah. I thought you'd like it.